adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. Now, this is one of the topic uh, that students find really difficult uh, because uh, they are scared when they when it's a whole number, they are quite happy to add or subtract whole numbers. When it comes to fractions, they have no clue. So, but if you understand the the concepts or the basics of fractions, this is something that any student should be able to do. So let me start with a very simple example. Say one half plus one quarter. Okay. So first I'll uh, I'll try to explain this in a in a diagrammatic manner in a diagram, and then I'll explain how you can do without the diagram. So let us do this. So most of you should know one half is nothing but so let me write this one half is nothing but two quarters one half is nothing but two quarters i'll show you this so instead of writing one half in place of one half i can write two quarters so if it is a half and a quarter it's same as saying half can be replaced by two quarters plus one quarter which is three quarters Okay, so let me explain this in a diagram. Say this is a circle. Okay, so this is a circle. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So there are two circles. So this is one circle and this is the other circle. Now this I'm going to divide. Uh, this is the, this I'm going to divide into quart. Okay, half. Okay, so. If I highlight this, and I can divide this shape division in half. Okay, so so this is one half, and this is the other half. You got two halves. So I can say this is half, and this is a half. Okay, I'm going to split this in quarters. Say shape division. I want four quarters. So these are. This is a quarter. I hope you can see this. So the question is, what is one half? What is one half plus one quarter? Okay. So I will try to split this again into no, it can't be divided. Okay. So this is so this one half, so let me color this say into brown. Okay, so this is one half. And this is, so let me make it colorful. So this is one half and a quarter. So if I move this here, can I move it like this? So can you see this is one half? So one half is how many quarters? That's what we said. One half is two quarters. So this is a half. And if I move this, can you see this is a half? And this is a, I'll write here, one quarter. And this is one quarter. Okay, so here you got two quarters. So I say that one half is two quarters. Okay, so can you see this one half? I'll move and place just over. So one half is two quarters. Okay, and if you move this back, okay, so let us turn it. So this is three quarters. So this is a quarter. So this is one half plus one quarter is three quarters. Okay, so let us do the next question. What is one half, one half plus one third? Now this is slightly diff different. You've got a one half and a one third, okay? So this is, so let me do without the diagram, and then I'll explain with the diagram, one half can be written as three sixth. So three sixth is same as one half. Okay, so if you divide, now you may think that how can I do that? So if you divide this by three and you also divide this by three, so three divided by three is one and six divided by three is two. Okay. And can I say one third is same as two sixth? Okay, one third is two sixth. So the same process. If you divide this by 2, you get 1. And if you divide this by 2, you get 3. So 
here I can change it like this one in place of one half I can put three six so this is three six this is in place of one half plus one third we saw is two six the one third I'm going to write as two sixth so this is five sixth so let me explain this with a diagram okay the same process so we're going to draw two circles the one same circle we're going to copy this and I'll copy and paste here we go so I'm going to divide this so this into half okay so highlight okay so this shape division so this is half and this is uh, shape division yeah this is say thirds okay so the question is this is one half and this is one third okay so I'll write here so this is one half and this is one third we say that one half is one half is three th uh, three sixth so let me copy okay let me make show you uh, paste uh, not working yeah it's working so I'll move this here so I'm going to sh divide this into six okay so this I'm going to divide both of them into Oh, it doesn't it has to do one at a time so show division I'm going to change this into sixth and also this I'm going to change this into sixth <coughs> okay so I say that one half is three sixth okay so this is say one sixth two sixth and three sixth okay can you see oh, let me move this away can you see this is one half this is one half so this is one sixth this is one sixth and this is one sixth so this and this are equal let me draw an arrow properly so what I'm saying is one half can you see is same as one half is same as three sixth and one third is same as Two six. So let me bring this here. So this is one sixth, and say so this is the other sixth. Can you can you see this is one sixth, and this is also one sixth. Oops, this is one sixth. Okay, so you got one sixth, one third, one half is three sixth, and one third is two sixth. So one half plus one third is same as one six plus one six plus one six plus one six plus one six. So you got you have to add these three six and then two of this six. That is three six plus two six, which is five six. Okay. Let me do one more example. I'll do this. I think without the shapes. I think one. You got the idea. So you got suppose one half plus two fifths <clears throat> now one basically what we have to do is in all these example what we did is to add fractions you have to have the same denominator and then you can add the top numbers you can't add I have seen students doing like this so one half plus one quarter is they go like this one plus one over two plus four which is two out of six and two out of six is one third now this answer doesn't make sense you're adding a half and a quarter you can't add a half and a quarter and get a number an answer which is less than even a half okay one third is less than half so if you add two numbers the answer that you get should be greater than both the numbers that's a simple logic so here what we have done is we have to make the denominators equal and then you can add the at the top numbers that is the numerator so 2 plus 1 is 3 here in this example again the same thing I'll change 1 half into 3 sixth and 1 third into 2 sixth so the denominators are equal 
and then you can add the numerator okay so here i'm going to do the same thing i want to make the denominators equal so i will i can i and look at the denominator i look at 2 and 5 so i think like this 2 times 5 is 10 <coughs> excuse me so I, i'm thinking like this now can i change a half into a tenths so one half is how many tenths so well i think now you should know off very uh, easily one half is five tenths so how do i do it I do it in my mind like this, 2 times 5 is 10, so you do the same thing to the top number. Okay, so 1 half is 5 tenths. Okay, and you've got 2 fifth now, and now I'm thinking 2 fifth is how many tenths? So I'm thinking like this, 5 times what is 10? So 5 times 2 is 10, so the same thing you have to do to the top number, which is the numerator, so it is 4 tenths. So, 2 fifth is same as or equivalent to 4 tenths and 1 half is equivalent to 5 tenths. So, 1 half I can write now as 5 tenths and 2 fifths I can write as 4 tenths which is 9 tenths.